Well, Paul, well done. That's a, a great way to end 2023. What are your thoughts after that absorbing 90 minutes? Really proud of the lads. I mean, even if they didn't win, I'd have been really proud of them. I thought we were really good first half. Obviously, we didn't start the game well. Uh, um, give away a penalty and then concede a free kick wasn't the greatest start. But I still thought we had quite good control of the game. We hit the bar, had a couple of sniffs, a couple of decent set pieces, and I thought we were the better side, ironically. But um, the goal before half time is a big swing. It changed my team talk a little bit, I won't lie. Um, and then I just, you know, asked the lads to, you know, step up. Champions, I want them to be champions. I want them to play like that. And I, you're not always going to turn up and teams are going to have their belly rubbed. You have to really fight and scrap to get wins. So to come back from that and uh, to win 3-2 is quite exciting. So I'm really pleased. I was really pleased second half. They just kept giving us the ball back. They were a possession-based team. And we literally pressed or tried to press everything we could and played with a real energy, which makes me really proud. So, irrelevant of the scoreline, I'd have been really pleased tonight. So, it's a good win against a team who are, you know, up there with us. You mentioned a couple of weeks ago, and I think you mentioned it recently as well, that when you go behind in games, you want the team to just say, no drama, carry on playing. Was it a real sort of test of that mentality tonight, that you were 2-0 down, but you carried on playing the way that you want them yeah. to play and got back into it and won it? Yeah, I mean, in fairness, that was one of my criticisms at half-time. I felt like we felt we had to, every time we got it, we had to score straight away. So we were forcing passes a little bit more, you know, a couple of times. There was another opportunity to play it safe and then go out, but we're trying to hit diags too quickly at times. And I, I get it because that's the enthusiasm of the lads to get back in, so it's hard to criticise that. But we said to them at half-time, just relax, you're fine. You don't need to score in the first minute of the second half. You'll have, you know, plenty of chances to do that. And the fact that... Um, Tomo came on and scored, gave me great joy and, and you know, a towering Stapleton header for those of that age. Uh, so, um, yeah, really pleased and, yeah, it shows real character because, like I said, if you're going to be successful over the course of the season, you have to win in different ways and um, the lads have found another way to win tonight. Was it pleasing then that it sort of reinforced the message about staying patient that you did because you got your two goals in the final 10 minutes to win it that you don't have to necessarily just rush it and force the issue straight away? Yeah, uh, but, you know, the, the part of my brain is saying, it's just great to win, isn't it? It's just yeah. exciting. And I know I've got to pretend I'm some sort of coach or something, but realistically, <laughs> like, it's just about, you know, roll your sleeves up, get crosses in, cause mayhem, be brave, be brave on the ball, get the ball back as soon as you can. And uh, they did that. And like I said, if, if they hadn't have taken chances, then, you know, that's just sometimes that's football. You don't, you don't win. You could be the better team, you don't win. But tonight I thought we were the better team. I don't think anyone could have left here, left here sorry, Norfolk accent and uh, said that we weren't the better team. I thought we were. The game changes came on, had a real positive in fact, impact on the game. Obviously, as always, we changed our system and uh, you know it paid dividends. So I'm just really proud of the group. And how key is it as well to come away to another top six rival and get three points on the board? Yeah, well, it's more important like not to lose really uh, because it is six points. You know, you don't want to. If you lose to this team, you're then even further behind them, and you get so. It was about not losing, but we came with an aggressive team, as you could see. We were like 4-4-2, so we didn't come to try and draw. We came to win, and I, you know, we watched them live last week, and I said to the lads before, and I honestly believed if we were our best tonight, we would win, and fortunately we did, uh, and I don't look so stupid. So really chuffed that uh, the lads, you know, step to the plan, move the ball quickly, press like the wind, and you'll get the ball back, and that's what's happened tonight, and they thoroughly deserve the three points. It's probably the most hard-earned three points they've had all season, but... Um, it's beginning to look a bit more like, so I'm pleased. How did it feel going over to the fans at the end? It felt like a really sort of special moment. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to word it in the right way. I, I thought um, the fans were really good how they stayed with the team first half because I think the real football fans, I mean, they'll obviously, as football fans are, generally speaking, there'll be some sitting there going, oh, rubbish, we're losing 2-0. The, the more intelligent football fans will be like, look, we're playing quite well. We just need to get the next goal. And I appreciate the fans sticking with the players. If you give them stick then, they might go in their shells. They didn't. They felt confident. They got the goal, which they deserved. They, at half-time, they weren't downbeat. They believed that they would win. And, and fans have a lot to play in that. So I'd like to thank him. Obviously, at the end, to be able to share in a way with, uh, with the fans is pretty amazing. It's the first time I've actually been tempted to bounce. I didn't know, did I? You, know, you said you're going to save that for promotion. For promotion, but I walk, clapped, and then everyone, it looks so much fun. I think, just keep walking, Warnie. Don't turn around, just keep walking. Like leaving the school disco without a girl, just keep walking. Don't don't look at everyone else who's done well for themselves. I just kept walking. So, But it was exciting, and that's how life should be. And I said to the lads, like, it's an experience you'll, you'll never forget. These moments in your life are amazing. 
and I sound a bit, um, oh, I'm quoting films, I won't do that anymore. Um, so, so really pleased, obviously, good performance, no injuries, everyone's had game time, Tomo scored a brilliant header, life's good. And you go again on New Year's Day against Peterborough at Pride Park. Oh, the six hours off. Right? Yep, the six hours off. It's another big game, and you mentioned how key the supporters were today. How important are they going to be on Monday at Pride Park against Peterborough? Yeah, I mean, I think that Peterborough are the best team in the league currently. Uh, so their wide players cause problems. They're really quick and create loads of chances. And, you know, we, we look at KPIs of the opposition with us. And more often than not, we have stronger figures, but they're really strong in a lot of departments. So, again, for us to beat them, we'll have to be at our best. Um, and hopefully we will be, and hopefully it'll be a game that people enjoy. That's fundamentally what football is. is that, you know, it's, you turn up and you're excited by what you see. It shouldn't take years off your life like our team are doing currently. But, um, yeah, we'll have to be at our best again, and we'll see how they are uh, when they turn back up to training. And just last one on Peterborough. You won 4-2 at their place earlier in the season. Yeah. How much of a different game do you feel that will be That will be this time around? Well, different in a couple of ways, really. They're probably in better form than uh, that day. I think that scoreline flattered us, so I don't think that we go into it as favourites. But I think we're in much better form. Um, the lads are in a really good place and I think it should be a really good game. Um, and hopefully we create enough chances to take and to win. But, um, you know... It's a big game for us as it is for them because both of us want to, you know, knock the other one out, so to speak. So it should be a good game. And, um, yeah, I look, I look forward to it after I've had some sleep. Enjoy six hours off. Thanks, mate. I can't wait. Five hours, 55 now. Thanks.